Hello everybody, it's Kelly and today I am bringing you a no photo layout. So I have this um, thank you card that says you're the best and I'm going to mount that on that um, kind of orange and peach floral paper. This is all um, Felicity Jane, pretty much Felicity Jane everything, not quite but pretty close. So um, that floral um, paper is from the Charlotte collection. And then I'm going to use some photo corners that are from Fiskars and they're clear. And the reason I want to do that is there is writing on the back and the most important part of the whole card is actually in the back. Now trust me, I'm not going to forget this, um, but you know, it, it's, it's important <laughs> that I be able to see that. Well, at least I won't forget it anytime soon. Who knows what happens in the future as my memory goes, right? So anyway, so then what I decided to do is I do want a journal, but I think I want, well, I don't think, I know I want this journaling to be hidden. So I'm taking that journaling card there, and that, again, is Felicity Jane, and it's the summer collection. So this is a lot of old stuff. I don't subscribe to Felicity Jane, but I would pick that them up during sales. So I was thinking about that black and white and then decided not to do the black and white. Um, I did, because this is so feminine, decide that I wanted to use a doily, and this doily happens to come from Wilton. And I love this um, wood grain paper with a little floral print over the top. That's from Felicity Jane Willow. And then I'm taking this scallop paper, which is from the Charlotte collection. And I'm going to add that just to that side, just to, so that it's not, this whole cluster is not completely floating. Now I'm liking that, but it feels a little small to me. Like the that note and the um, doily are getting lost. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add, there we go, um, add this piece of like little rose um, floral paper. And that is from the Felicity Jane Emmeline collection. And I'll use that to kind of mount that whole cluster on. I'm going to play with this a little bit. I don't know exactly how big I'm going to want that, if that's the right size or not, um, because I need to start embellishing. So the story behind this is um, a couple of months ago, you guys would have seen a layout a, that was a memorial layout for um, one of my closest friends. And um, when she found out that she did not have much time left, it went very, very quickly, like um, 24 hour, four hours quick where she was unconscious. So she didn't have time to write thank you notes to all the people who helped her and she was single so a lot of us spent a lot of time with her trying to help her as much as we possibly could and so her um sister wrote these notes uh, because they had talked about you know different things while she was sick and um wrote notes to us from her at least in her voice and the things she um, might have wanted to say. And knowing my friend and her sister, um, her sister really nailed it. And there's the last line of this, um, like nails her relationship with people. Um, so anyway, um, so there were about uh, 15 or so of us who got these special, um, these special thank you notes and a really important gift came with it that's kind of private so I'm not going to actually share that piece I'm pretty good about sharing most everything with you guys but not this particular um, thing uh, the note I'll share anyway so what I'm doing now is I have that floral um, piece and I that is from the Felicity Jane um, cut aparts and I'm just cutting apart she used to um, do these so you actually had to cut them apart versus it being a die cut and so that's what I did. And I love the impact that this makes. Now I'm fussing around to figure out how to use it. Then I decide I want to use quite a few of these things. So there's a banner here. Um, and I'm going. I'm thinking about using that in there somewhere. And then I decide, oh, I'll just use it as a banner at the top. So I get a little bit of a diagonal going here. 
And then there's this little kind of tabby bannery thing that says this. Uh, and it pulls the green in because otherwise there was only going to be green in that bottom cluster and that would have looked kind of funny. So kind of looked to see if there was anything else there that I could use and decided no. Now I've got these rubber charms here and those are from the Emmeline collection and I found that bow that I really liked, um, that green heart again to pour some more, put some more green in and that love word as well. There's another bow there. These are all these rubber shapes and that cute little um, uh, heart pulls in a yellowy kind of orangey color. And so I'm going to use all of these on the layout. Just get them on there. Um, the one thing too in the end there I I had forgotten I wanted to use some Dear Lizzie product from Fine and Dandy. It, it's the Darling Detail Stickers. And so I put an envelope right above the word love um, just so that you know that's there. So look for that in the still shots because you will see it. I was putting, starting to put stuff away. I thought, oh, that's right. I wanted to use these chipboard things. And that envelope was so important, was so perfect for this. I did not want to use it. And it sat perfectly above the word love. And it's got a little bit of gold on it. So I think it also echoes the little bit of gold that is in the... Um, in the note itself and if I were going to do some splattering this would have been the perfect place to do a little bit of uh, Heidi Swap gold. I could go back to do that but I'm probably not going to honestly guys because I'm lazy <laughs> and I, you know me I don't splatter very often once in a while I'll do it. All right so the other thing I could do is maybe um, use some of my Nouveau drops on here so maybe I'll do that and put a few of those down and maybe not. <laughs> I'm in a scrapbook after I'm done doing this voiceover. So I'm in the midst of Christmas crafting and scrapbooking and all that kind of stuff. I made some Santa trays for Cookies with Santa. I just made uh, some Santa cam, the base of this, some glitter Santa cam ornaments. I'm making some um, coffee mugs that say this could be wine and this could be beer. <laughs> so I'm in the midst of that as uh, we're doing this. You won't see this till uh, sometime in January after Christmas is all over. But anyway, all right, guys, that is really the end of my layout. Make sure you check out that still shot for the envelope. I did think here about putting some gold stars on beside it, not to do it. So hope you're all well, and I will be back with another layout again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.